very difficult to be considered to be a book inspired by God or directly revealed by God. And what I mean by that is this. Now, today is a bit of cloudy day, right? In a day when you see a rainbow, what does it remind you from the scripture? It reminds you of a covenant God made. That covenant was to remind not to destroy mankind again as a sign of a covenant. Sign of a covenant. By flood. By? By punishment. And I, and I, and I, and I, and listen, you're quoting the Bible. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. If you quote the Quran, I won't correct you. Look, you're look, look. In the Bible. I am saying by punishment. By, no, it says by a flood. Is flood a punishment or not? It, it, but you were semantics of important. Okay, okay. By flood, flood. flood. Good, no problem. By right. Flood. Who is the rainbow going to remind? Remind? It's not to remind God in the real sense. He hasn't got a man. Excellent. God, yeah, what it is is that God, when, when the Jews use memory, mm. yeah, when they use memory, they mean that God will be the past into the present. Yeah? yeah. Even when Christ said, do this and remember, remember for me, he didn't say, you need to remember this. Okay. All the time. He's bringing the past into the present. So the use of the word remember in scripture terms isn't just only to just remember. God is, God, God is not an old man where he can forget something. It, it doesn't make sense God will be reminded by a rainbow. I agree with you. But I just oh, wait, wait. explain the word what, what it means to remember. It, does, it makes no sense that God needs reminding by anything including a rainbow because God doesn't forget his own knowledge. Let's hear what the Bible says. This is biblehub.com. It's not a Muslim website. Okay, yes, sir. Right? Yeah, Genesis, you Genesis 9 oh, right. yeah, that's and it. continues. Yeah. And if I get the context, um, where is the context? Click for chapter. Right, okay. okay. There you go. It's very important to see what the text is saying about God. So imagine now, you are non Muslims and reading this. From verse 12 onwards, I'll read. Okay. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you. Yep. A covenant for all generations to come. Yep. I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I form clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and every living creature of kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life and whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds I will see it and remember yeah. the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature every kind that is on the earth so without giving any explanation if I were to say what I've understood someone who is to be considered here God he sets a rainbow in the cloud as a sign of a covenant he made mm -hmm. between him and his creation yeah. that Whenever he sees rainbow in the cloud, it will remind him. He will remember. Okay. Right. Who will remember? It's not people who will remember. The statement clearly, categorically, black and white says, God, God will remember. I know, I God will remember. But, but we, 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 wait, 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 wait. Now, on, before I told you what remember wait, wait, means hang on, hang on, hang on. in the scriptural text. One, one second, one second. When someone is describing event in the future, that something will happen in the future, yeah. Of an event of the past, a covenant made, yeah. and says, "When I see it, I will remember." Yeah. It means that covenant will come to mind because that is what it says in black and white. The words are, in other words, each covenant mm -hmm. is everlasting. Mm -hmm. What it means, the old time of remembrance, what I said is bringing the past into the present. It's not we know all. So what does it mean here again? God, he, so that covenant, yeah, is for our sake, as well, not for God's sake. That rainbow is not for God's sake but for our sake yeah? no. when God says yeah. I will remember yeah, I will remember what does yeah. it mean again he's bringing that covenant will come all through for all time I've made my covenant mm -hmm. when that when when any time in the future what I have covenant with you will always stand that's what it means God doesn't need uh, memory look, look, look. if I took this passage to a non-muslim and a non-christian English teacher or a Greek teacher 
professor. Yeah. Because it's in, in the Greek, right? Yeah. 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 Or English translation. That's Hebrew, that was Hebrew, yeah. It's Hebrew, correct. Absolutely, because we're talking about Genesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely right. If we took to a Hebrew proficient mm -hmm. teachers who teach Hebrew in a university level, mm -hmm. and you will think that it means what you said. Yeah. No, we can do that. Why don't you do an experiment? Find professors of Hebrew language who are not Muslims and not Christians mm -hmm. and ask them. In this context, what does that text, that statement says, I will remember? Does it mean, and you put your interpretation, does it mean that, or does it mean yeah. that yeah. someone will remember? So you've got, you don't know context, yeah? The old context of scripture is the old context. You can't drag a verse out. I didn't not, say a verse. It's not like a surah. I didn't say a verse. Right, yeah? I said the context. context. I've already told you what remember means in scriptural terms. I, if Christ even proves it, yeah, when he's at the last supper with his disciples, do this in remembrance of me. Yeah? Sorry? Do this in remembrance of me. I will be with you. Excuse me. I'm it's okay. Don't worry. I'll be. I will be with you even to the end of time. So hang on. Right? These are two different things. Yeah. Do this of remembrance of me means when you do these things, have in your mind me. Yeah. Remembrance. We're talking about remembrance. Yeah. Here is talking about. It, Hebrews never approached it like that. It Jews never. It's not about. It's not about this. It is. No. It's very important because originally it was wrote by Jewish people for Jewish audience. The Gentiles received it. Did the Jewish people ever Trinity. think God was a Trinity? No, they didn't even understand exactly. fully. No. Did they ever think God was a Trinity? Uh, no, Christians, I don't, no, I don't right? So I since don't since don't. Christians now misrepresent their belief, no, they don't. No, no, they let, they me, don't. let me clarify. They don't. They don't. You are now giving me. It's important to understand the recipients of the text, what they believed in. The Jewish people were the recipients of the yeah. text. Yeah. They believed what remembrance means. Remembering means. Yeah. Good. I take that paradigm, yeah. the principles, and apply that to their understanding of God. Surely we should take their understanding of God rather than my understanding and your understanding because we come much later. So when we go and find out what they believe about God, unfortunately, they don't agree with your concept of God and Trinity. So you now have to modify your wrong concept of God. May I reply to that? Yeah? Uh, I think but do you agree now? I, I, if we are going to I stick to a principle. Some, on, on some of it. Yeah. The Jews only had a partial revelation of God. Partial? God, the, yeah, uh, not a about, full revelation. About full, what? God. Who God was. So Christ, did it, so, so, oh, so oh, Christ this, came sorry. to reveal yeah, what God was. They had no concept of the Trinity. Yeah? They had no concept I'm glad you say that. Yeah? They, they didn't have any concept. They only had a partial uh, understanding so they worship one of God, God as Father. They worship one yeah, God? Their understanding, their understanding was only partial because God hadn't fully revealed himself to them. He revealed himself fully in the person of Jesus Christ. No, no, no. Now, Jesus there's Christ, a problem there, though. When Jesus Christ there's came, a problem there, then you're there, there may be a problem. No, no, there's a, there's a, there's a problem. Yes. If you consider this concept of progressive revelation, here is the problem. Yeah. You said the Jewish people didn't know the concept of God because God didn't reveal it. I can make the same that argument. Of the Trinity. No, no, no. Yeah. I can make the same argument using your criteria that the Christians do not have the correctness of God because God hasn't revealed Himself fully. Later on in the future, He will reveal that He has a daughter, He has a sister, He has a brother and an uncle and a grandmother and so on and so forth. Right. This is okay. what this is. No, this is the problem of progressive revelation about it's God. It's not a problem. It's so, not a problem. So now, okay. can you now be sure right. that God would not reveal in the future that He has a wife and a, and I, a sister. I have to deal with your argument first before I answer that. Go ahead. Yeah, is that God revealed himself. So this is what Christians are. So I'm saying that I know you don't believe it. This is what Christians believe. And this is what the scriptures say. That God revealed himself through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was the final revelation. The final revelation. Jesus Christ said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. There was no other. I am it. And continue yeah? finish the verse. Yeah? I am the way. No one comes to the Father but by me. Good. So yeah? Now what you're saying is, yeah. Jesus is not the end point. We agree? No. Uh, wait, 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 wait. He How says, he says, the end point is what? How do you get that? All right. When you are on a way, is the way the end point? I am the way. No, it's not. It's a, it's it's look, a journey. This is a way, it's right? A journey. It's this, a journey. My friend, this is a way. Is this way the end point? No. no it not. leads to somewhere. So now you agree, Jesus is not the end point because he's being the way. No, you're taking one word. And not one word. Any. Look, what about the truth and the life? 
flip 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 Truth and a lie See, means why, why wait, wait. you can use one word and you can use it as a footpath. Wait, yeah? One second. You can one use second. The way I'm one going second. What's the way to America? To settle, to settle this misconception from our Christian. On your part, on your part. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. You know whether I mis misunderstood you, believe or not. If we now let Christ really speak about who God is, now tell me from the scripture that you believe in, mm -hmm. from the mouths of Christ, his words, like, like the red letter Bible, mm -hmm. where Christ identifies who the true God is. Go on, tell me. So now I will take, say, oh, this is what okay. Christ believed in. Okay. What did Christ, who did Christ identify to be the one true God? Oh. Where, where shall we start and where shall we finish? Wherever uh, the Bible I, says. Uh, all right, if we can go, I can take verse out. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Can so we stop there for a second? The no, no, can we, no, no, I, the father, I will let you one. speak. No, no, I will I let you speak. One second, one. I will let you speak. Yeah. But we want where Christ is identifying few terms about who God is, yeah. who true God is, yeah. and who's the the only so you God. Need, you need to go to the Gospel of John, yeah. Yeah, and where, where Jesus says, what the Father does, I do. I don't do anything but what the but, Father does. But, but you're, you're missing the point. When he talks about... Your no, no, no. I thought I your question. Why? Okay, you know what? Let's cut, just, let's cut the chase. I'm John 17.3. Yeah, yeah, okay. Have you heard about it? Go on, tell him. Remind me. I will remind you. Oh, it will suit do you know why? Remem remembering, remembering Finding helps because it, yeah, you are not all knowledgeable. That's why when I'm God not, put a rainbow in there, it shows you God was not all knowledgeable. Agree. I'm not all knowledgeable. Okay. I agree. That's why I, you've got my weakness. Good, good, I'm good, not good. All knowledgeable. Neither am I. That's okay. why we disagree with the Genesis account where God needs to be reminded by a rainbow. That could be John, uh, John Fine. 17. John 17, 3. John starts by saying, Jesus is saying, this is eternal life. Yeah. That you, the Father, yeah. you are the only true God. Yeah. And Christ, who you have sent. Yes. So now, Jesus identifies who the only true God is. That clearly is not him. He says someone who calls himself Father. Jesus in your belief is the Son, not the Father. So according to Jesus, mm -hmm. how many persons is the only true God? Three persons, okay. one nature. So according to Jesus when he said, you the Father only true God, mm -hmm. how many persons is the Father? One. Right. So Jesus, according to him, the only true God is one person. Yeah. And that one person is who? Okay. Yes, so you, shall I answer that to you? That one yes. person is who, sorry? One person is the Father. No, no. One person. The only true God, yes. which is one yes. person, is the Father. Yeah. So according to Jesus, who is the only true God? So, so why, why, why do you throw away? Come on, help me out here. Can help me out here. Well, uh, because I'm having a stomach pain. Okay, when oh, I'm speaking. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. No, no. Yep. This is my brother, Najmul. Assalamu alaikum. Nice to meet you. Um, you I've forgotten your name. John. 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 So I was I just yeah. identifying to John. According to Jesus himself, he identifies who the only true God is. Yeah. And he says it's the Father, meaning it's not him. So, God is identified by Jesus, which is not himself. Mm -hmm. So now have a discussion while I take a break, sorry. Um, I'm getting uh, some stomach. Yeah, so, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you believe in praying God. You believe the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Uh, I think you know the answer. Yeah, 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 yeah three yeah, of them are God. So in here in John 17, 3, the scripture bro uh, brother took, Jesus is saying the first person of the Trinity, the Father is the first person, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So if the first person of the Trinity is only true God, can we have any other person be called God? Only if Christ is God. But the Christ is saying, if you, you are saying if the, only, if the Christ is God, but the Christ himself, there's a testimony of the Jesus Christ, he's saying the Father is the only true God. Look at the sentence. He's saying Father, yeah, yeah. then only, yeah. then true. So if the Father is the only true God, mm -hmm. meaning it is exclusive, there is no one other than be God. Mm -hmm. If I say you are the only doctor in Speaker's Corner, what does it mean? Yeah. I'm the only doctor in Speaker's Corner. There is no other doctor. Yeah. So what Jesus is saying, the Father is the only true God. So there cannot be any other God other than the Father. Mm -hmm. Then what he is saying, true God. So if there is any other being claiming to be God, he will be false God. Is that, but I, 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 do, 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 no, do you agree? Yeah. Okay. No, I, understand, right. I, yeah. I understand what you're saying. But it only comes in court with all the rest that Christ said. Right? It, it can only be understood in the, in the okay, no problem. What, 
what, what, what, what, so, I, so in John 17:3, what you say? Okay. What you say in John 17:3, do you accept Christ is identifying the Father, which is the first person of the Trinity, as the only true God? In John 17:3, do you accept this 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 part? His words. His words say he's the only true God. Yeah. And who is the Father? Who is the Father? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we accept this. In John 17:3, Jesus Christ is saying the Father is the only true God. He's saying that there. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Do you have any other verse which is equivalent to John 17:3 identifying other person as only true God in the Bible? Well, I can answer that, and it won't come up in one verse. Okay, no problem. Right? It will come up first of all in the old life of Jesus Christ, okay. of who he was. Yeah. Okay. And the example I'll give you is um, I'll give you a few examples. His miracles. Yeah? Um, um, the miracles. He done certain miracles, and people went, wow. I'll give you an example. Jesus uh, walking on what and there was a storm. Okay. Yeah? Um, and they, they and he said, wind, be quiet. But, but, and it comes to and the and the the, the uh, disciple went, wow, who can do this? Only God can. You know, he's controlling he's controlling the weather. When the blind man was ill, he said, never from from the beginning of man was was uh, a man cured of being blind, because only God could do that. Yeah? But so, do you, do you believe in miracle? Okay, I do. When Moses splitted the sea, was he God in that time? No, he wasn't God. But he did the miracle. Yeah, he never claimed to be God. Yeah, so, so God... Where, where in the miracle you were yeah. So what, what, what you're saying, God gave the certain miracle to the prophets. Then people can recognize they are the they are the appointed one from the Creator. So the same things when Jesus, we are not denying any of the miracles as a Muslim. No, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do believe Jesus did the miracle, but not as God. He was a prophet, like the Moses did, like the Abraham did, like Jacob, David, all of the prophets. They did have the miracle as well. So you cannot by just showing some miracle, it cannot prove the divinity of the Jesus Christ, what are the other things you do have which can show that yes, Jesus is God? Do, go on. And his teachings and he's saying, okay, in, For example, one, in John, and I think it's 17, or so, I am the Father. One, in John 10, 13. I always do what the Father... Yeah, so uh, let, let's um, take one by one. Yeah. So when Jesus was saying, I and Father are one, it's in John 10, 30. So one is what? What? A one, unity. What, one is what? One is one. One is God? One is one unity. One, yeah, I know faith. He says I, he means I am at one with the Father. I am God. Okay, excellent. So in the same, in, in the same gospel, in gospel of John, yeah. if you go later on, in gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 21, yeah. Jesus said, he and disciples are one as well. Do you accept disciples are God? Right, in that, when he said that, he, 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 he was praying to the Father. Yeah. yeah. He said, no, Jesus yeah, said, yeah, yeah, he said, like, 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 he had to, in the full content, I'm just getting the yeah, full yeah, Oh, no problem. Yeah. He said that they may be one yep. as we are. Uh, uh, Excellent. Yeah, yeah. So what Jesus is uh, saying that as I and Father are one, yeah. meaning the oneness, as I and Father are one, they might be one with us, right? Yeah, That's the yeah. exact word of Jesus. So if the oneness of Father and the Son is equal with the oneness of the disciple, mm -hmm. then all the disciples, you need to call Peter as God, you need to call John as God, you need to call Mark as God, you need to call all of the disciples as God, because the same one, have you read the Greek word of one? Both of the cases, if you look at the alpha. one, uh, not, not the alpha, it's not the Greek word. So it one, it says in Greek, it says hen. Oh, right. when, when you look at uh, yeah, when you look at John 10:30, it says hen. Hen means one in purpose. When you look at John 17:21, it says hen mm -hmm. in one in purpose. Same again. Mm -hmm. But the Greek word hes is uh, the one which means one in number. For example, if you look at the uh, Gospel of Mark chapter 12 verse 29, when Jesus said, "Here, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one." one. So in here, one is hes, not hen. Because hen means one in purpose. So we believe Jesus and the Father's purpose and Jesus' purpose and disciple purpose, all of their purpose are one, which is calling people to the to the Creator. So this verse doesn't really go with your argument that Jesus claiming to be God, because it's just it's, simple, uh, he's claiming to be the one in purpose. Sticking on that verse, so yeah, that's the context. I, I gave the context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah even, so the, what we call is the, uh, the prayer, the Lord's the Lord Prayer for yeah. the church. Yeah? He said that I may be with 
with us, be with us. Yeah. Yeah. So heaven, are you, we have a different understanding. Yeah. That they, not that they would that they would be divine, but they would share the same. That's yeah, that's, 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 that's what we are saying as well. We At the same, the same time, time, Jesus Himself is saying this: as I and Father are one. He will be one with us, mm -hmm. right? So same one, he's talking about the same oneness yeah. which was in John 10 30. Mm -hmm. So in John 17 21 and John 10 30, he's talking about the same oneness. And if you says that oneness make him God, then this oneness in John 17 21, you should consider other disciples as God, which is not the case. You don't consider them as God, no, you consider them as a disciple right. because you understand that oneness is in purpose, mm -hmm. not oneness is in essence, neither oneness is in nature. So Jesus is saying the same oneness with the Father in John 10 30. If you look at even John 10 31 to 32, 33, 34, where the people, there's the claim of Jew that he's blaspheming, but what Jesus responded, Jesus responded, Is it isn't it written in your law that you are gods? He was quoting Psalm 82 6 yeah. when yeah. the Jews were called gods. Lowercase. Yes, lowercase gods. So Jesus is saying, You are called as gods, but I am just claiming to be the Son of God. Yeah. So he's being very explicit that I don't mean to be God. You are called gods, but I'm just saying I'm the son of God. The, so, the, and, the, 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 the uh, definite article is very important. Yeah. Yeah? The, 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 yeah, the, there's the, no problem, no problem. It, is, um, it, 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 it separates God's lower case. Yeah. No, he's not well, saying God. He's not saying God. He's saying I am the yeah, son no, of God. No, when he the son you of God. God. Okay, yeah, you need you... to understand two terms here. One is son of God, and yeah. another one is God the Son, right? So God the Son was used in churches in your uh, Trinitarian history, yeah. 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 but Son of God is used in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any statement as God the Son. We have the Son of God. Mm -hmm. We need to understand the difference between Son of God and there's God a, the Son. Yeah. A, yeah, there's, yeah, there's a, a difference. difference yeah. There's a difference. Yeah. So it what is the, the definition? The yeah. Thing. What's the definition of son of God? The son of God. Yeah. Well, the human word son language defines the best way that we can to add the relationship between Christ and the Father. It's the best word that we can use. We use it, in fact, if you look at John the Old Fashioned King James version, it uses the word begotten. Yeah. Yeah. In the creeds, it but says. But we, we do have the other begotten in, as well. In, in the creeds, when we say. But, the but, creed, but my question is, what, what's the definition of son of God then? Begotten means comes from. No, no, no. no. What's the so definition of from? Son of God. Yeah. For example, when, you have, when, you're, when, you're, when your wife has a, has a child. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it comes from her. She never created it. I understand. It comes I understand. From her. So, you know, and that's, that's as though yeah. the, the man comes but, from But her. son of God, in biblical term, if you look at the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 9, it gives the definition of Son of God. It says, Blessed are the peacemakers who will be called the Son of God. They right? will be called children of God. The Son of God. It says the no, Son of God. No, it doesn't. It said they will be called children of God. Which, which uh, gospel uh, you story? Can, uh, Matthew, you can uh, use Matthew's uh, version of the Sermon on the Man. Uh, no, I, I'm, can... I'm quoting Matthew 5, 9, chapter 5, verse 9. It says the Son of God. By the way, what I'm saying is that all of the verses you, you bring up, it doesn't really you know, backed up your claim that Jesus is God. What are the other verses you think will help you to get preached that Jesus is the Son of God? I would probably have to take you through uh, a Bible lesson, yeah, and take you through. Okay. And then, and, and Let me give you one other verse here. Yeah. In Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verse 17, yeah. yes? One of uh, the rich men, rich young men came to Jesus, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he said, good teacher, yeah. tell me how can I get the eternal life? What was the response of Jesus? Why do you call me good? Only God is good. Okay. Yeah. So Jesus is saying, why you are calling me good? Yeah. Only God is good alone. Right. So if Jesus was God, why he is saying, why you are calling me good? Only he's God. Question, only, only. only God is good alone. He's only he's asking a question. So yes, what yes. I'm what I'm saying in yeah. this regard, Jesus he's the is, good is is separating himself to be as God. Let the man talk, please. Brother, can't, please. Can't Jesus is explicitly saying that the only good God is good alone. Why you are calling me good? So he's separating. Don't call me good. Mm -hmm. Only God is good alone. So if Jesus was God, he should say, yes, I am good and God is good. Mm -hmm. Why Jesus is saying only good God is good alone? It's Don't a good call point, me good. but yeah. you're misinterpreting the verse. Yeah? What is that? Because it, it, it was a question. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a statement. Yeah. yeah? 
he's asking, why are you calling me? Why are you, why? Because only God is truly good. But so is why, he? Why, why, but, why, but according to you, he, first, according no, the, according to you, he was God. Here's a question. No, according to you, he was God. Yes. yes. Okay. So if he was God, why you are refusing? Why he was refusing to be called as God? He's, he's challenging the the, the person. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Why? No, because he was saying, "Oh, good teacher," and good look, teacher. Good, good teacher. Good teacher. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He, looked on, he looked on him as a. Have you as read a, the, as a, have a, you a read, rabbi? No as problem. A leader. Have you have you read the Mark 10, 18, and 19 and? Yeah. I have read it, but remind me. I okay, can't. no problem. So when he said, don't call me good, because the who is good, only, God, only God is good. Only God is good. Yeah. Meaning he's not God. So... No, I in, disagree with you there. Okay, you disagree with the, uh, with the Jesus no, then? because it's a question, not a statement. Jesus is saying, only God is good alone. And Jesus is saying, why you are calling me good? Yeah, only God it. is he's good he's alone. Okay, no problem. So why How, whatever it is, let's take John 10, 8, sorry, uh, Mark 10, 18. Okay. Then the young man, he understood, I cannot call Jesus good. Then he next question he asked, teacher. He didn't add good because he knew Jesus is saying, don't call me good because I am not God. The only God is good alone. And then the young man said, teacher, tell me what is the greatest commandment. Then the discussion went on and on and on and on. What we are saying in this regard, look, yeah. you have the Trinitarian idea. The Father is God, Son is God, and Holy Spirit is God. You cannot really back up this idea from the scripture because, because the idea of the Trinity, do you have the Trinitarian Christian or do you have the Church Father <coughs> pre Nicaea who believed in the Trinity? Pre Nicaea? Yeah. Pre, the year 300, yeah, three, three the year 300, Catholic yeah. Nicaea. Yeah. yeah. Do you have uh, the yeah, Trinitarian? We do. We do. Yeah. For yeah. example, name me one church, church Father. One Church Father, Tertullian. Tertullian yeah. didn't believe yes, that? He did. Yes, he no, did. No, no, let me, let me finish what yeah, Tertullian yeah, believed. Yeah. Tertullian believed one kind of subordination yes Tertullian believe father the God the father created God the son do you believe that no no because the Tertullian didn't believe Tertullian didn't believe the way you believe in today because the way you believe today let me finish the way you believe today the father the son and the Holy Spirit three of them are co-equal and co-eternal yeah before Nicaea Nicaean creed is the first creed in 325 C you get the idea that the Father and the Son, they are co-equal and co-eternal. Before that, people believed in the Trinity, but they didn't believe Father and the Son are co-equal and co-eternal. They believed in the Trinity, I do accept it. Mm -hmm. They believed in the divinity of the Jesus Christ, yeah. but they didn't believe Jesus Christ was the co-equal and co-eternal the way you believe today. I tell you we need to add more. The Council of Nicaea was formed yeah. because by the time, uh, don't forget, the, Council, the scriptures, the Bible, what we got in our hand, didn't come together until what the year 360 right? uh, no what year 367 yeah, yeah, yeah. you have you have, yeah, yeah. You have so other the, problem here yeah, as well the council of nicaea was to say well look we're getting all these um uh you know all these people coming in saying christ is this or christ is and that the church is this let's put down what we actually believe they weren't inventing anything new all they were doing was saying but there is then do, do you accept the council the church council they are the one who first promote the trinitarian idea yeah. In that, in that clearest form like that, yeah. Yeah, because the f from the early Christian, we didn't have any record that they believed in. The, be, believed the word in the Trinity wasn't used. Yes, okay. Tertullian is the one who, who the, first brought up the Trinity. Trinity just means... No problem, no problem. Even the idea of the Trinity, the concept of the Trinity, what I'm saying, you have the 325 in Nicene Council of Church. If you read the Nicene Creed, what it says, the true God from true God, yes. Father, because Son, because because not, not, not by... Okay, no problem. Yeah, no problem. In Nicene Council of Church, do you have anything about the Holy Spirit that Holy Spirit is God as well? From who proceeds from the Father and the Son, together with the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified. Does it say that? And, and as in, in yeah, even an yeah, no to, give, to give worship to okay, anyone. No but problem. God. No problem. Does it say anything in the Nicene Council of Church, the Nicene Creed? Does it have anything this the Holy Spirit is God as well? Yeah. We don't. We don't. No. Nicene Creed. If you read the Nicene Creed, yeah. if you if you have read the Nicene Creed. Off by okay, That's no problem. Nicaean Creed doesn't That's include. Bunch, by the way. Okay, Nicaean okay. Creed doesn't include Holy Spirit as God. It's just say uh, we believe in we believe in Holy Spirit. You have the Constantinople Council of Creed yeah. in 381 yeah. when it says yes, we do believe in the Father, we do believe in the Son, and we do believe in the Holy Spirit as well. Mm -hmm. And three of them are God and co and co eternal and co equal. So what we are saying is this: that's your belief, the Trinitarian belief 
it takes 350 years to build up in a, in, a, in a dominant view in Christian history before it 300. Was a it was a defining. No, no, no. It's, it was it's, a defining. Okay. It was the reason so why it's already believed. No problem. No problem. What I'm saying is this. You have the one side, you have the churches which are establishing, and you have the councils yeah. which has to be done because of understanding the, what, what is they the, what is the formed, good. Head. They were formed because there was a, um, bad teachings. They generally were in opposition to something. That's why the councils were formed. Who, who are opposing? Who are opposing? Uh, so you had the a, people you who had, believed. You had someone like Pelag okay. Pelag you had the someone like people, Pelagius. Yeah. The people who believed in Jesus Christ, the people who believed they, they are yeah. following Jesus. Yeah, yeah. The people who believe Jesus Christ was the prophet. The people who believe Jesus Christ was the messenger. The people who are not Muslim, you, do, you can't say the Muslim did it, uh, Christian did it, other, other people did it. The people, very people who tried to follow Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. they were discussing about these things and they didn't accept the Council of Nicaea, neither the Council of the Constantinople. So it was later added and it was imposed in Christian views that so you have to believe in the Triune God, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Later second hand yeah. and secondly you have the uh, Gospels right yeah. Mark, Matthew, Luke and John before the canon mm -hmm. the canonical Gospels so we find yeah. we have the 49 Gospels attributed to, to Jesus in Jesus name right so why we have just four Gospels they was never accepted they, they was never they oh, weren't I understand, the, I understand. The amount of, we can tell by the amount of surviving copies documents which, yeah uh, I, but but do you understand like that in canonical gospels in the first time in the history yeah. in 367 yeah. by the church father named Ethnicius why he is saying in 367 350 yeah. years after Jesus yeah. why is saying this is our 27 books why not before because the time had come when there was false teachings coming into the church and they and, and they got together and said well we need to def need to clearly define the church so if, if, if the Christianity if the Christianity was so solid in Trinitarian view why it, it, took, it was took, open it was open to heresies yeah. it, it was in, being attacked by heresy uh, that's why we had the um the, the creed and that's uh, the Bible wasn't done in reaction to that it's just that they got all the, the what, what, what we are saying in this regard there's a teaching of the Jesus was not the I Trinitarian teaching teaching of the Jesus was not the teaching what Trinity is saying or the what the church father is saying later on what we need to do we need to accept the original teaching of Jesus what he said yeah, what, what he said as we discussed that the father is the one who is only true God so if you worship did Jesus worship anyone else except the father no you have been blessed excellent do you need to follow the Jesus or not Yes. Okay. Do you follow Jesus by worshiping only the Father? I worship God, the Father, the Son, and I all one. Is one, one. I worship one God. So did Jesus? God, did Jesus? Who, 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 okay, no problem. What's the word? Revealed himself. Yeah. In three persons. Did Jesus worship the Triune God? He didn't. He wouldn't worship anyone. He is God. Did he worship the Father? No. <laughs> didn't he worship the Father? No. They, they're co-equal. He wouldn't worship him. He, he, he did. He, he, if you look at the okay. No problem. No, no, no problem. Not to worship. No problem. When he said, we, us, okay, no problem. Worship, God. When he said, I'm going to your father and my father, yeah. and your God and my God, and my God. Yeah. Do you believe Jesus have a God? No, no. But what Jesus is saying clearly, I'm going to my God. Yeah. So what, what, what yeah, I'm saying is this, Jesus... What I'm going to say to you now, Jesus, yeah, I don't believe in bullshit and blah, blah. Okay. I don't quote that verse that you've, that you've just said. Yeah, okay. I will look into that because I can't explain it. Yeah. Right? But it doesn't mean, you know, I, I can't explain it. Yeah, because it. Jesus... It's a, good, it's a good point. Yeah, it's a, because if Jesus is God, yeah. how a God have a God? Mm -hmm. yeah. because and if, I know that's not... I know that that isn't... Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, look into it, look into it, no that, problem, that, no problem. That, that, that is right. Because Jesus is saying, Jesus is saying, I'm going to your father and my father. Yeah. So you cannot say he's just referring to the father. He already said about the, your father and my father. Then later on he said, I'm going to your God and my God. Mm -hmm. He did simply say, yes. I yeah, yeah. So what we are saying in this regard is Jesus did worship to the father. Jesus did no. worship to the God. That, 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 that's the, that's yeah, the uh, if you, if yeah. you want to look at the, uh, yeah. w uh, w uh, w he he worshipped. But I want to in, garden, that garden, yeah, 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 yeah. in the Garden of Gethsemane, he did worship the Father. He said, Father, if it's possible, take the 
take the cup away away from me. So he was worshiping. Not my will, but your will. Your will. Okay, look. Every single point you see, Jesus was worshiping and he was attributing attributing the God the concept of God to the only one who is the Father. And he is saying, not my will, but your yeah. will. Meaning, if you believe, if you believe this, uh, Jesus is God, mm -hmm. how he doesn't have a will to do something? Because he is saying, it's a good to, point. To, yeah. It's a very, very good point. To your what, will. What we're going to do, we're going to go back there to the church, that Christ has come as a willing servant, yeah, in the flesh, yeah, in the, in the flesh, to do the Father's will. Yeah, so that only makes sense. No, but at the same time, I understand. I, I, I understand. I, I could be guilty of using circular reasoning. Okay, no problem. You know? in, in, in the same same way, you believe Christ have a free will as God, and He was God at the same time. Yeah. You believe that He yeah. He, he believed the dual nature. He, yeah. he was God and He was a no, man. No. He, 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 he believed hundred percent God. The, the, the two are okay. Perfectly he, okay, okay, no problem. You believe hundred percent God and hundred percent man. Yeah. When He was saying not my will, but your will, but your will, yeah. at that time was He God. Yeah, he was always great. He's, he's, okay, no problem, no problem. All times. If in that time he was God, how he doesn't have a will? He did have a will. But he said, but I, he only died, but yeah. Yeah, but he, you see, he, you see the he point. he subjected his will no. to the Father. Acc according to you, but he is saying, yeah. not, 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 not my will, but it, your yeah, will. It, it, only and comes, when, it only makes sense okay. if, you, if you read that he subjected his will to the Father. You know, it, might, that's, that's, it won't make sense otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, your question then is completely valid. How can he? Unless he willingly, through free choice, subjected But he was himself. not willingly because what he said yeah. in the cross, yeah. Eli, 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 Masa, yeah, would, My God, my God, why are you forsaken yeah. me? You see that all of the scripture, if you put put together all of the scripture, what you were so saying... What do you, what do you mean by that verse? What, Eli, 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 Psalm 24, I think. I know some, he, he, it's, it's in Mark and John. Yeah. No, 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 my God, yeah, he yeah, says yeah. but it comes from a psalm. Yeah, it's come from some as well. Yeah. So if you look at the, what he's saying, My God, my God, why are you forsaken me? Yeah. So Jesus is calling someone God. At the same time, Jesus is saying the only true God is the Father. At the same time, He's saying not from my will, but your will. At the same time, He's saying I'm going to your Father and my Father. At the same time, He's saying uh, Father is the only true God. At the same time, He's saying worship the only true God. At the same time, He's saying Hero Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. How can you really s not see that Jesus is not claiming to be God and He's separating Himself? Here's the point. He's separating Himself to be the God and he's saying someone else is the only true God who is the Father in first person. It, it only, it only, again, it only makes sense if the Son, yeah, uh, incarnate Son, subjects himself to the will of the Father. It, don't, that's it, it won't make sense otherwise. Yeah. I, I agree with you. Yeah, it, okay. it, 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 it won't make sense. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I've got to go to South End on soon. No problem, yeah. yeah. And I don't want, I'd love to talk to you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. To, it's been interesting and you give me something to me, but I'm going to go into that, John. Yeah. And look, uh, yeah. Look it up. And, look it up. And you, you see the. You, you see, if you look at the, all of the scriptures, like for example, I and Father are one. Before Abraham was, I am. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Whoever seen me, seen the Father. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to your Father and my Father. All of the verses. To prove the Trinity, you need to rely on Gospel of John. Because without the Gospel of John, you cannot really prove the Trinity from the Gospel of Mark, Matthew, and Luke. But why you are relying on this? Gospel of John was the later added gospel. It was gospel the last gospel. Yeah, last gospel. Yeah. Gospel of John is not the synoptic gospels. Gospel of John was not the authoritative as the Mark, Matthew, and Luke. You, the things you need to do, this you need to go to the Gospel uh, of John. It wasn't was for It was. It, it was from an apostle. Who, who is he? John. But John, according to, you believe that John John wrote Gospel of John? He may have dictated it. He may not have actually penned it himself. Okay. And it was quite in those times, it was quite often to get someone. But um, according to, to, do you know what was the, uh, what was the job of John? What, you what was the occupation of John? John was, uh, let's say, when he was first called, he was a fisherman, I think. Yeah, he was a fisherman. Yeah. So in, in, that, in that time, do you think a fisherman can write Cuneo Greek in high, highly standard? Well, he was a he was a he was a businessman. He may well have known, have known to write. Oh, I can't answer that. I can't answer that. Okay, excellent point I here. I can't answer that. Excellent. So I can show you from Book of Acts where Book of Acts chapter four verse thirteen. Yep. It was very explicit. Then John was illiterate and uneducated man. Right. So if John was an illiterate and uneducated man, John and Peter both. Yeah. If John was an illiterate and uneducated man, how an illiterate and uneducated man? 
man is writing something which is in very highly academic, yeah. like the Gospel of John. So then we need to ask the question very fast, that did John wrote the Gospel of John? If he didn't, then how do we really confirm that our source is correct? How do you really confirm, for, for example, Gospel of Mark? I'll, I'll give you an answer from the, from the Gospels itself. When you go to the end of the Gospel of John, yeah. it gives you the impression that, that someone was writing it on behalf of John. When you go to the book of Revelations, it gives it that, that John wasn't actually... We, we was take the testimony. It yeah, it says we, we take the testimony. Yeah, he was dictating it. So then the yeah. point, point is, who is we yeah. and who is John? Who is, who is we? We. Where it says that we take the testi we take this testimony from the John, right? So in, in, in end of John. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We. Who is we? The body of believers. You see, the point is here that we do not have any idea who, who is writing this. And we, if you look at the tradition of, uh, for example, the yeah, Christian, scri Christian scripture, we don't have any scripture. We don't have any scripture from the first century. Do you have? Uh, no, because paper deteriorates. As we, uh, we don't have yeah, the original. P thirty. I don't know, I think we may disagree, but the Quran, we don't have the original. We do have, we do have, Quran. we do have. Uh, that's, that can be challenged and it can be challenged. Yeah, we do have, for example, uh, look, for, for example, for example, we do have the Mark, Matthew, Luke and John. Mark was written uh, around 70 to 75. Yeah. Matthew, Matthew was written around uh, 80 to 85. Yeah. And we have the John was written 100, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. But in terms of the Quran, we have the Quran, a group of Sahaba was appointed only for writing the Quran. Right? Can we talk about what you're saying about John? Yeah. Right. I'm going to have to leave you there. I'm sorry, I'm okay, going to back to South Bend. Thanks, lads. All right, no problem. Take care of yourself. So Jesus uh, worshipped to the Father, yeah? Pardon? So Jesus worshipped to the Father. Speak to the man. Yeah, yeah. Take care of yourself.